Jack is an ambassador for life. He is um, someone who you look at and you say, I want to be like him. I want to be as uh, determined yet funny and I just generally want to approach life like Jack Lassiter. Jack was probably the most caring person and best mentor that I've ever known. He was completely selfless. He thought about everybody before he thought about himself. He loved people. He loved mentoring people and he liked to have fun. He, he loved to laugh and he had a big laugh. In almost every single picture I have, Jack's got the biggest smile in the room and it was infectious. He didn't come from well-off beginnings or anything like that and uh, I, I think it helped. He just enjoyed helping other people. I don't know that he knew how many people um, looked up to him, how many people he helped in their thinking, how many people he became an example to. There are definitely parts of Jack that, um, that are part of like the fabric of who I am. Jack entered the room and made everybody feel better about being there. He changed the culture in this office. When we came here, it was a hierarchy of, of partners and associates and staff and whoever. In Jack's eyes, we were all the same. I think that's truly why we're remembering him because he reminds us how good each of us can be. I think students, and in particular students at Bourbon Day, fit exactly into that, you know, what Jack was all about. And, you know, I saw it at our office, and I saw it um, on a personal level, uh, but I saw it with the students. I think Jack cared about Verbum Day because he really liked the idea of giving people maybe some of the opportunities that he had. He was barely the new managing partner within the, within the, within the office, and he, after having lunch, lopes down the hallway and says, you know, I found out this great program, it's the Verbum Day Work Study Program, and we're doing it, and they told him no, and he said, find the money, we're doing it. It was very important to Jack that we mentor and that we offer hands to students around us and give them real life experience and follow up with them in their life as they're moving through. And I know we've had over 50 students in just in our office since, since Jack started this program and still stay in touch with many of them. It takes a village to raise a child. That's sort of a mantra. Uh, I remember vividly from my time at Verb and I really felt that Mr. Lasseter helped embody that message. Um, by welcoming us into, you know, the firm. Jack personified uh, being a man for others. He intentionally mentored people, but he unintentionally mentored all of us. The young men of Verbum Day, the employees of Foley and Lardner, his partners, his college friends, his, it, it wasn't until he passed that even I, saw the far reach of, of his mentorship. Foley and Lardner, I think, in, in this office, really thought it was important to establish the Jack Lasseter Fund because Jack was such a humble person. So we not only advance the mission, but we also um, remember uh, the life of a great man and longtime supporter of Urban Day High School. I remember senior year uh, after I got notified that I was going, uh, that I got accepted to Stanford University. Uh, I remember going in and uh, meeting with Mr. Lasseter in his office, and we spent some time just sort of chatting um, about, you know, his time at Stanford, uh, some things to look out for, and uh, I remember we talked extensively about football um, at some point as well. So um, it was one of my fondest memories of him um, getting to sort of connect with him in this new way. Jack was a good man, one of the best. I'm a much better person because of him. People in this office are better people because of him. I think anybody that knew him would say the same thing. We were lucky to have him in our lives when we did.
Jack loved Verbum Day and he loved making it as much of a difference as he could in other people's lives. It, it, it made him, it fulfilled him, I think. Thank you.